Hello my artsy crafty people. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video I'm going to be painting a sunset at the beach on a wooden panel. If you want me to do more wood burning art in the near future, give this video a thumbs up please. I have that piece behind me and an entire playlist of a bunch of different artwork that I created with a wood burner. Also, if you happen to miss last week's video, I continued my craft kit testing series with a UV resin lamp and I made really cool resin charms. All video links I mentioned will be in the description box below as well as in the iCard in that corner over there. Also, I am using TikTok now. My account is Sarah Lynn Arts. Go follow me there if you're interested in satisfying art things like paintings, doodles, and a ton of other cool satisfying things. But now without further ado, let's get on into painting this. I'm about to transform this plain $2 piece of wood into a beautiful painting. First, I am going to sand this down because as you can see, the edges are a little bit rough and splintery. Comment a smiley face emoji down below if you see the face in the sander. Cannot be unseen. Now that that is sanded down and I used a very fine grit sandpaper so it's nice and smooth, I'm going to use these bottom of the barrel, um, actually only a couple of them are apple barrel, but I'm using very cheap acrylic paints. Um, that was my failed attempt at a pun. So these are like 50 cents to a dollar a bottle. Um, some of them I think I got in a giant set, so they're even less than that possibly. But I just use the cheapest acrylic paint there is, and I find that it works pretty well. I am now just using a fairly small paintbrush, and I'm painting some water to go along with the grains of the wood. Kind of uh, has its own outline already. So this is going to be the ocean, the lake, whatever kind of water you want it to be. I included different types of blues, and this is going to change a lot over the course of the artwork. But then I moved on to some kind of tannish beige for the sand. Then I decided that I want the border of this wooden plaque to be a different color and I should probably do that now. I probably should have done that before putting any paint on it, but it's okay. It's still going to work out. So I'm using this Minwax wood finish stain. It is an oil-based stain, but it still will work as you'll see later. Like if you get some on the acrylic paint, you can paint over it. This ended up being a little bit too dark for my vision. Um, it did lighten up a little bit overnight and after I wiped it the heck off as much as I could, but I should have tested it first. It just, it looked a lot lighter on the can, but then again, I am using a very light white wood. I also left it on too long and I should have like wiped it on instead of brushed it on because just so much got into the wood and it just got sucked down very quickly. I am now just touching up any of the imperfections, any of the stain that got over the acrylic. I'm just painting over that with acrylic. Then I'm moving on to the sky. We're going to do a beachy pinky purple sunset with all these different colors that may or may not be realistic. I'm sure you could find a sky like this somewhere. The way that I went about this is not exactly the easiest way that you should go about this, but in the end I did get to the point that I wanted to be. So what I'm trying to say is I ended up putting like the pinkish orange color down first and then the yellow and then some more orange. I should have, in hindsight looking back at this, I should have started with the darker colors. So like here. I put the purple and then the blue and I was covering up some of the lighter warm colors in the middle as you can see. So I feel like this voiceover has gotten really, really boring. So I'm going to throw in a small announcement for any of you guys who live in the Toledo area, Northwest Ohio area, Southern Michigan, Northeast Indiana. You guys listen up if you are interested in meeting me. I'm doing this cool event on August 3rd. So I'll have more details to follow. If you're really interested, you can leave a comment below. You can go follow me on my social media accounts, which are Instagram, Twitter, 
Snapchat, and um, I think that's all the places I'll announce it, maybe Facebook. So I'll have all those links in the description box below. But yeah, hopefully I'll see some of you guys on August 3rd. More details also to come in a future video here. I am actually in the LA Anaheim area as you are watching this, if you're watching this right when I posted. Um, I'll have updates on my social media pages if you wanna follow those. But I just wanted to let you guys know it's pretty fitting to, you know, me being by the beach and everything. I'm with a bunch of other artists. After completing the sky, I decided to do some kind of puffy, wispy clouds. And I did these in kind of cotton candy colors. So I didn't want them to be gray or blue, not all of them anyway. Um, I started with a pink cloud. So the bottom is going to be the darkest. The easiest way I find to paint clouds is you start with the biggest outline and this is going to act as a shadow also, so make it maybe a little bit bigger than you want it to be. So you start with that darkest color, then you gradiate it, gradiate it, gradiate, gradiate, <laughs> um, transition into a mid-tone, so purple, and then you transition that into a lighter tone, which for me is pink, and then you can add some white um, to make the highlight area, and yeah, you kind of just blend the color as best as you can to make smooth transitions between the shades and make sure that there is a shadow and a highlight and you get the depth of the cloud. And if you kind of tap your brush gently on there, you'll get kind of a cloudy texture instead of just the smooth brush effect that normally you would get. And this will also add some contrast between the cloud and the sky. I did that same technique for a couple other clouds. I made one purple and one kind of like indigo blue at the very top. I didn't show me painting that. But then I moved on to the waves or like the bubbles or the foam of the water. So this will just kind of separate it from the sand a little bit more and make it have more dimension. You can also see that I did paint some reflections into the water because it is a sunset and normally you would see different colors in the water instead of just blue at sunset time. Sarah here stating the obvious. That is real fun. Acrylic paint does dry rather quickly so when you're trying to blend colors and the color underneath is already dry you're going to need to put more of that color freshly on there to blend it with the color on top. That was such a confusing sentence, but hopefully it made sense. So if I want to blend some yellow into the water, but the water is already, like the blue is already dry, I need to add more blue with that yellow to make it blend, which is what I did. with this so the very last step I wanted to do for this is after the acrylic paint was completely dry I went in with a one coat poly polyurethane I'm using a clear satin so it's not going to be super glossy but if you want gloss you can get gloss I did a test on the back which is really really important so you make sure that it's not going to make your colors bleed or do anything weird to them um, I let it sit for a while and then I moved on to using a really big paintbrush to cover the rest of or the front of like the actual painting. There we go. The actual painting like the front of the wood. So I sealed everything in. For the sand, I wanted that to be extra textured. Once the poly had dried for a few minutes and got a little bit tacky, I went with the brush and kind of did some stippling effects. Basically, I dabbed the sand with the bristles of the brush to get a grainy texture. And that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It is something a little bit more chill than I normally post, but I really enjoyed painting it and I would definitely love to do more of this kind of stuff. Uh, mixed in with my craft kit testing and other like more uh, action packed videos I guess. If you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up to let me know and leave a comment telling me what your favorite um, vacation spot is.
if you enjoyed this and you never want to miss out on a new upload which happens every single Friday here on my channel go ahead and ring the bell to turn notifications on click subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up I would really appreciate it if you came back next week to watch and if you join the family Jazzy Jazzy Art Box is here I really hope to see you guys back here next week and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye!